Well, today what I'm going to show you here is how to rough up a screen for an algae scrubber. And uh, what I've got here is a finished screen. You know, that's that's what it looks like when it's rough. Okay. And I have a little, basically, a template cut out that I have a line on marked, and that's where it uh, that's where I want it to be smooth from here on up. As you can see, comparison. It's kind of hard to see on the video, but smooth versus rough. Okay, so what I do is I tape off the area where I want it to be smooth, and I leave extra screen. This is actually going to be for two screens. I should be able to fit two screens on here. Okay, and what I'm going to use here, it's a saw, a very sharp blade, as you can see. Um, this is just off a kit or something. You could use a drywall saw. Some people use a hole saw, but I've discovered this is better. And the first thing that I do is I just take the edge and I rough up right along the, the top edge of it. Just kind of go back and forth real quick just to get that, that first little row roughed up because it's hard to do uh, getting into the tape. The tape will actually protect uh, the screen a little bit from the saw, so if you if you rake across the tape, you know it doesn't rip it, doesn't go through and scratch up the screen. You want that smooth uh, so that the algae doesn't stick to it. So you usually go across a couple times, back and forth. You know, pick it up and drag it like this. Okay, and then this is the easy part. You just do it like this, and you kind of go sometimes straight down, go a little bit of an angle, change it, go the other direction, but you're always leaning the saw like this. You don't want to go like that because that'll snag it. And then you can do a little circular motion. Again, sometimes you snag the edge, but if you use extra screen, it doesn't matter. You just cut that off, and I'll show you that in a minute here. But And then you, every once in a while, you cut yourself. Like I just did. Mm. That felt good. And I'm not really pressing down really hard. You don't need to if the teeth are extra sharp like this. But all right, and that's pretty much it. And you can see there's a couple of spots that aren't roughed up here and here. On the other side, you can tell still pretty smooth. So then, what I do? Just go over those areas again. And that looks pretty good. So then what you do is you just flip it over to the other side. And then when you're done, you mark a line. You figure out where you need to uh, you know, cut it for this length. And you cut it. You trim it a little wider than your slot. So what I do is I trim it a couple rows wider than the slot. So I make sure that I can fit it right. Because you don't always cut your slot exactly the size of the screen. And then what I do is I take a, I have a, uh, a square file little needle file and I shave out the slot just a little bit so that I can make the screen fit perfectly in the slot when I slide it in. And then you trim it down and of course as you can see with the black row lined up here I would be trimming off about five rows off the bottom and this way if you don't quite get the edges all roughed up or if you snag an edge and you rip the screen you can just trim it down to size. So that's basically it. And you do the other side and you're done.